We are back with... That's right, Super Meat Boy. And uh, we are on the second chapter, the hospital. What's going on, Amika? Welcome, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> and... Um, can't remember how far we got up to last night, actually. There we go. That answers the question. We are up to level 13. Everything is a plus at the moment. Don't know if we've got the bandages or not. I assume every level has a bandage somewhere or other. Whether or not that covers... Um, I think that probably means some are um, in the light world and some are in the dark world. Because um, we've definitely not seen bandages in any of those other a plus levels um, I also want to go back actually to the forest because there was one level on the forest that we didn't uh, a plus last night uh, which was annoying me <laughs> that's not a good start but hey well Get our eye in here. How far are we off then? It's five seconds. Okay, I wonder if I can go... Yeah, that's going to be the... That's going to be the route. There we go. Excellent. Go back to the map. Woohoo! We A plused it. Excellent. Back to the hospital. And back to Ulsa Pop, I think was the name of the next level here. We did all of these, didn't we? The bootlicker. There's going to be interesting floating enemies in the sky. Once again, I already feel myself pulling those concentration faces. <laughs> I gotta um, I do better there. I see where the key is now. So I gotta get the key and then come all the way back down to the bottom for the bandage. It's in this bottom right hand corner by the looks of it. So get the bandage first. And we'll come back and try and A plus the level. Now that's no mean feat. And we've got to avoid Meat Girl or whatever. I don't really know what her name is. It's on a postcard. What's her name? the exit. Alright. Got the bandage. We're going to do this in 10 seconds to get a um, A plus by the looks of it. Oh man. Alright, so the initial delay works well. That then sets us up for the timing on these two. It says.
Oh. Had it there as well. Mother. There we go. Easy. First enemy boy, that would really help us out here. Better we should do that. Maybe jump up there instead. If I need to How did I, how did I get across there like so easily the first time around? Oh wait a minute, didn't I go up to where the key was first? Yes. Ah. He is not easy. How's everybody doing anyway this fine, fine Tuesday evening, Tuesday afternoon, depending where you are in the world, of course. Still doing good. It's good. It's good to hear that in the last 10 minutes, Kong Clan, you haven't deteriorated. <laughs> Expecting that to be fair. Well. Had a productive day, you just read material without writing. It's sometimes difficult to frame topics that you're writing. You know what? I've had a relative productive day as well. I've been really kind of in a bit of a slump just recently. But I... Excuse me. I've been very productive, actually. I have to do this... Potential new project for somebody coming up, and um, they have a load of CSV files that they need to be importing into another system. But the CSVs are like all kind of a bit higgledy piggledy, for lack of a better term. So I've written a small program. Let's see if I can get this bandage. It's risky, but. I've written a small program that takes basically a file definition of the base file and then converts it and changes the limiters and fixes up all the file structures and everything and uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with it. Press that knock on. Well Been hitting a bit of a hitting a bit of a slump recently, I'll be honest, with uh, work and stuff. 
Game over. Race back down here before this guy gets up here. That's not enough to jump over him. Race up here. And then down here. Ancient thoughts, thoughts on free will and mental events. I tell you what, Mika, the, the stuff, the stuff you cover, man, in your uh, degree and everything, is just like very heavy stuff. So, Mikey, what's going on, buddy? Hope you're well. Hello, Yellow Belly, doing this fine Tuesday evening. Same shit, different nappy. Hey, man. I hear you. It's all a bit, I don't know, I don't know what to make of what. I don't think anything's really going to change with this announcement today, so it's very much going to be, uh, as you just so nicely put it, the same SHIT, different nappy. You know, we can all, us in the UK, can rest safely in the knowledge that you know, as long as you're back home by 10 o'clock from the pub, you're not going to catch coronavirus. Because coronavirus only comes out at 10 o'clock at night, clearly. Well, we've got this first bit nailed down. This second bit's a bit more parkour-y, so... When I say a bit more parkour-y, of course, I mean it is parkour. Whew. The Pokemon, yeah. How the dickens are you meant to get that bandage? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think for now, Bandage Girl is in another warp zone. Living in the past. What we're doing. We well, yeah, I would agree. I think university is about pushing yourself to your limits and see what you can actually do. So I would agree with you there, my uh, 
Uh, Mikey. You're not Mikey. You're Mika. <laughs> I would agree with you there, Mika. Definitely. A jumping meat boy. You're getting a lot better. that again if I tried. Where am I even going here? Jeez, this level's a bit of a beast. Yeah, it's got a very nice OST, that's for sure. I'm loving the tunes so far. Okay, I should have jumped over him. We jumped up there. Jump down. Jump down. And we missed Bandage Gill. Handle me more, pal. Uh, what lasers are a thing now? Okay, I was not expecting this. So, I'd like to be really sneaky here and like go out the this side of the level. Maybe. Maybe. Yo! Iron Smell Tree and Deathwish in the house. What is going on, fellas? and I could have actually gone a lot sooner than I did. No biggie. Then did screw the pooch for sure. Mm. 
marginally too slow. Uh, sorry, too early on that instance. Bandage girl not dead from that laser. All right, if I'm quick enough, clearly, I can make it all in one go. Oh, dear God. Top there. She's bandaged, girl. She's self healing. And I get like so far up that wall, and then I just stop. What? I call being cheated. spam the button as much. Seems to work. I as I kill myself because I'm not going to make the 14 seconds there. Yeah, I can make that top, definitely. Both laser was flashing too small. So many meat boys were lost. Oh my goodness, we got permanent lasers here. And where look at where that bandage is, man. Clearly don't get the bandage from in here. How on earth are you meant to get the bandage? Slow? How, quick, how slow was that then? Hmm. Okay, I need to take about a second off it then. The only thing I can think is that it's the... It's this bit right down here. This bottom corner here looks like the block is different. Um...
Oh, wow. Okay. So then moment terribly turn off at some point. Okay. So they only turn off at one point. One time. So there's a, a really fine margin here. Now, if I had to have a hunch, I know you can't see where I'm where I'm pointing to here, but the bottom row there is one block which is oriented orientated differently from the others, and it's almost like there's like a beam of light shining there. Yes. Now I just got to get out of here. Now we just got to do it in 16 and a half seconds. that ledge that's the killer. I don't know how far to sort of... Okay. was pure luck that was nothing more than pure luck <laughs> oh jeez
I mean, I did play this like once. Well, let's say once. I played it for a little bit before, once before, um, when Deathwish bought me the game originally. But I don't think I've played since, and that must be a good four. Well, I don't want to say four. I haven't known you that long, Deathwish. Must be a good three years. Nah, surely it's, I've known you for like five, six years. I, I don't know. Man. I don't think I'm getting out of here. I'm just, but yeah, I, I couldn't tell you when Deathwish bought me this game, but um, I think I probably played it a few times when he did buy me it, and then just neglected to pick it up since. Ah. You know, since playing less than stuff. Sort of games went jam. Like a challenge, right? on the right side. And we're back here again. <laughs>
be honest, I'm going left because I didn't think I could make the one on the right, Deathwish, but... Yeah, I don't think I can make that, can I? No. Neil's there, Mr. Meat Boy. Might want to avoid him. Personally, you could go and do your cutlery. Easy, easy. Now we just have to do it in twenty four seconds. this last bit for a moment because clearly we're weak at it. Oh, 
up or not? We can just knock it out of the park like that. <laughs> All right. Hospital boss fight time. It's Chad. Do a bandage, girl. Don't you push her in a hole like that? You say it's fun, I'm saying I'm ready for the pain. Oh my goodness me. Music though, that's my jam. Ah, oh, man. You know what? I was just about to say, at least the at least the blood isn't rising. <laughs> uh, I've got a I've got a boom arm thing, Mikey, connected to my desk, so it floats in the air. It's floating like a candy wrapper in an updraft. So I feel like if I do this, and I can get him to always spawn in the middle there and do that. Oh, I thought he'd got me. Fair, Mikey. I think this boom arm, this boom arm, cost me like a fiver off Amazon. It really wasn't very expensive at all. But before this, I did just have it on like a the tripod that the mic came with, just sat on my desk in front of me. Everybody decided they wanted to give streaming a go because COVID. I went too fast. Too fast again. That was just in the water. I don't want to call it water, not, but. Oh, 
Oh boy. Even after all this time, I'm still not used to the fact that you can't really jump if you're traveling too fast. I'm still trying to sort of jump up platforms when I've already like picked up momentum. C920, is that that's the Logitech one, right? That's, that's the one I've got. I paid pittance for mine. I think literally I paid like £30 for mine. It's not the pro one, it's just like the normal C920. But. pounds seems a lot. That's what I, I can understand maybe if it was the pro version, but so yeah, I didn't pay that much for mine, no way. Yeah, I just bought a new pop filler actually. Um, Deathwish did some like playing around with mic settings and stuff, and I was like, oh my god, your mic sounds so sexy. Um, where do I get me some of that? Um, and he gave me some settings for OBS, and I thought, you know what? I'm getting sick and tired of smashing my pop filter off my microphone every time I uh, move my arms. So I was like, yes, I'm going to get myself a brand new pop filter to boot. Can I make that jump? Seriously? I mean, to be fair, my mic didn't sound bad before. My, it's quite a decent mic. Um, it's like a it's a studio condenser mic for vo like specifically for vocals, um, which I bought when I was going to be doing some voice stuff. But um, it's pretty nice. It's a pretty nice mic. To LA, not be knocking you, doing What are you doing? Really a difficult level. I'm just making an absolute mess of it right now. Hey, Deathwish, you've done any playing around with peace at all yet, or I enabled it and I didn't know if it sounded any better or worse, so I kind of just turned it off again. And then I rebuilt my computer, so. I'm sure the hardest levels are going to be probably one of the Dark World levels, Mika, I would say. And I'm not an expert at the game or anything, but Dark World levels are like the harder versions. Woohoo! I 
think we did it. Yeah. Makes sense. It's nice just having like the, even like the, um, the noise gate, even just having the noise gate set, like you said, you don't get that background noise and you have the, the mic has to be over a certain volume for it to actually sort of pick up your voice. So it's just nice and crisp in that respect of things. Yeah, that was a boss fight, Mika. Where is he, the penguin? dead the salt factory everyone loves a bit of salt so salty Be crumbly blocks. Beautiful Joe. Never heard of it, Mike. You know, also, I just realized there's that whole pile of salt right near that bandage that I just didn't even take notice of. And well, there we go. Right, so now we just got to do it in nine and a half seconds. Easy, right? Easy, right? Easy, right? Come on. Well, that makes things a lot easier. Just got to work out how I can... the upper level which is going to cause me the issues here
I need to get higher on that wall. I don't know how I can do that though. I need to literally <laughs> I think I need to literally like kick straight off them blocks there we go boom I was just trying to think of which of the characters I could use. Would the head crab cut it? addicted to the salt and jumps off quite sporadically ah. you've got to hold the direction I think pretty much all the time here or else you're gonna end up where you don't want to be. Let's go on, Tom Steakin. Welcome along. Hope you're well. Huh. Uh, I'm good, thank you. I'm very good. Yep, we've got marbles coming up relatively soon. Seems to be quite the hit at the moment on the channel. I'm really enjoying playing the marbles, so we'll be getting back to the marble goodness. I don't think the head crab's going to work, Deathwish, because I don't feel like I can get a high enough jump with it. Possibly. If I could maybe... I got another strategy here. I can't get too close to the salt though. not quite high enough unless I can get the peak of my jump a little bit higher with this guy. 
Maybe I'm pressing the glide button a little bit too early. I don't know. Hard to say. Yeah, I like being I like frustrating games. I mean, I don't necessarily need to go for the bandages just yet. I've just been trying to pick them up as I go along. So maybe we'll come back to it later. Maybe there's a different character we'll unlock a little bit later, which will be more beneficial for doing this. So. having the, com the Geometry Dash conversation actually with somebody not so long ago and I've, it's, it's never really a game that I've thought to pick up to be fair. Never given it a go. Man. I feel like if I try and use that ledge there, I just get like pulled into the salt and I can't sort of avoid it. But try and stay off that ledge as much as I can. Five seconds behind the target time. So maybe I just need to just carry on wall kicking all the way up here. Do an extended sort of jump there. And then carry on the wall kicks again. I need to remember to extend the jump on that plot once I get up there. I also need to get some point on the jump there as well. to use the extended and maybe I just need to use the sprint here. I need to get higher on the wall though.
Yeah, so. Well, we shaved a second off. We're getting faster. I think I need to extend the jump at the top to get higher on this wall to be able to clear that first ledge as well. Okay. Practice that bit for a start. But then it's like coming off there that seems like I can't seem to get much pace off there. From a standing start, I've got to go kind of like onto that ledge there. That's probably the hardest bit, I think, at the minute. Been able to get enough speed to sort of get over that ledge, but then enough momentum to clear onto the next wall to bounce off the next wall. Oh, that was close. I think that was about 8.9. A little hesitation there. And there. Nine, nine seconds flat. All right, so if we have, hadn't have hesitated, we'd have got it, I think. Maybe I can... Maybe... Maybe using the extension here on of R2 is the best better because I can jump a bit faster. Still not helping to clear that gap though, is it? Yeah, holding the R2 actually in the end was the best thing to do. What was the actual time? The time it didn't start on that one for some reason. 7-6. Oh my goodness me. And then of course I've got to go all the way back as well. To be fair, this reminds me a bit of the first boss fight. Jump! clear that I think I can clear that first pile with a, an extended sort of jump I think I'll probably get through most of these Maybe I can clear more than these and I actually think I can clear it yeah okay I can Yeah. 
I want no flying turrets. Get them out of here. I love the, like, the fact that when you do like, that jump, he just like, looks sideways and smiles at you. Sometimes. Well, he looks sideways anyway. There you go. Like that. That's quality. But look at me, man. I'm flying. What? What sort of BS is that? Remember where that bandage was? Or is? How? That's got to be a character I don't unlock yet, surely. Wasn't that bad, considering I stalled for so long at the beginning. I think clearly I need though a character that I need to use a character there that I haven't got already. Dashman's only got sideways dash. Unless... There's a actual point here in getting out of bounds. I wonder if I was like a switch or something to like raise that up or move the position a bit, but I think there is. Like a really weird weird pixel though.
That weird pixel has disappeared now. It's clear it was a glitch. anything for us to do there at the moment. I don't see a way to get it with any of our existing characters, that's for sure. Need a key to get to the warp zone. Where's the key? Like there's like something a bit higher up in the sky. But I think to get an optimum jump there, we need quite a bit of precision. Yeah. I wonder is doesn't give you a lot of time before it disappears either. Just wonder if there's like a block you could land on which would sort of break everything for you. So, 
if I'm right, it gives you, it barely gives you enough time to sort of get to the top of the map. So. Oh, I wonder though if, hold on. I wonder if the key is maybe like the walk gate itself in that if there's a key at the top, it maybe disappears. But no, nah, it doesn't give you enough time still, does it? If you had to do all of this, then you went to the top. starting now to get quite interesting Act to see where you can actually get away with actually getting on there. And the thing about the elevators is you don't get a trail of blood, so you can't you have to kind of do it by eye as to where you land each time. But I'm going to want to use the commander video here. Get your meat out of here, Conclan. And he can't go as far as fat. He can't jump as high as Meat Boy by the looks of it. Again, though, like with that other bandage, I think we're missing a character here. Unless I can do it with Jill. Maybe. There we go. 
Get on, poor Ponky. Everyone's crying out for some marbles. That's death. Where did I end up there? Game over. Iron wants some. Iron wants some marbles. Poor Ponky wants some marbles. Just have a look at this one, guys, and then we'll maybe get the marbleicious stuff going. <laughs> so what? You just joined the stream, expecting the marbles to be on already, Paul? <laughs> That's quality. Do like wall jump off the the corner here, I think, and maybe get it. Maybe. It is almost the marbling hour, isn't it? It is indeed. Living in the past, Deathwish. Always living in the past. In the present, man. But, but, but Mika marbles. Marbles, Mika. Ma no. Ma Mika, no. Marbles. No. Marbles. <laughs> School must wait. Schoolwork and classes must wait. Marbles is life. Seeing as it's our new favourite thing to do on the stream. <laughs> oh god, jeez guys. Calm it, calm it. Like tomorrow, Mika, why are you late for class today? Well, I was up late and I was playing marbles because marbles. So, same one in reverse. Thanks, Meat Boy. Oh no, the princess is in another castle. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna leave Meat Boy there for tonight. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. We will be back with some more. Uh, exploring the uh, salt factory a little bit more. Definitely the difficulty is ramping up now on Meat Boy. Um, still getting the A pluses, but trying to get the bandages and different bits and pieces is really proving tricky at the moment. But thanks everybody for tuning in. We'll be back with another episode of Super Meat Boy real soon. But until then, thank you very much and goodbye.